All right, like I said, this document is really coming together, very presentable, very professional and clean looking. Now I'm gonna give you a scenario here. This is probably something that you've done before in the past, or perhaps you watch somebody do this. Have you ever printed out a document, maybe something like this or a larger set of data, and you need to go through and find specific records? Maybe you grab one of those yellow highlighting pens, and you go through and highlight specific rows that match specific data. Maybe you're looking at dates. Oh, this date is past due, I should highlight that one. Ooh, this value is above our budget, I should highlight that one. You ever done that before? It's a very manual process. You're printing it out, you're going through and highlighting stuff. And you yourself are going through the document, kind of eyeballing what you should be looking for. Well, inside of Microsoft Excel, we have a very similar feature built into the application, where Excel, based on a condition, will format something for you. Here's the example. Let's say mm, these percentages. I wanna say if I spent more than 15% on any given item, it should turn red. Or how about my, mm, my dollar amounts throughout the different months? If I spent more than $100 on any one item, then it should turn red. This is called conditional formatting. Based on a condition, such as if it's greater than 100 or greater than 10%, that's the condition, then we format it. We tell it what to do based on that condition. Take a look. I'm gonna try it out with my, my dollar amounts here. So if any of my bills are more than $200, let's make them turn red. Now we can eyeball it and we can take a look and do that, but let's get Excel to do it for you. So first step, you gotta highlight the cells that you wanna conditionally format. In this case, I'm gonna get B4 to D8. That's the group of cells that I wanna search this condition, greater than $250, $200, whatever it was, make them turn red. So with that selected, I'll go to Home, I'm gonna go over to styles, same place we found cell styles earlier. And I'm gonna to go to conditional formatting. Now, you've got all sorts of options in here. I'm gonna show you one of the more standard operations. I'm gonna to go to highlight cell rules, and I'm gonna use the greater than operator. Remember, if it's greater than X amount, that's the condition. So I'll say greater than. This opens up my condition window. And I'm gonna say if it's greater than $200. And now it's picking a specific formatting. It's a light red fill with a dark red text, which is great. And I can already see it working in the background. If it's more than 200, it formats it. Let's try changing that. I'm gonna say if it's greater than uh, 300, then format it. So now you can see that this one and this one are no longer formatted. It's only matching the specific condition greater than this. Now light red fill, dark red text, that's great. You do, do have some other default options in there, or you can customize it. You can do whatever you like, change it to any color you want, but I'll stick with the red. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and I've now conditionally formatted my document. If it's above the 250 or 300 or whatever the value was, it formats it. And it's dynamic. If something changes, let's say credit cards, I didn't spend 100, I spent $400 on credit cards that month, I'll hit my enter key, updated. I didn't have to go through and reset any parameters, any conditions, any formatting. It already knows what to look for and what to do if that condition is met. Very neat feature, save you time, less manual, get Excel to do the work for you. Conditional formatting. So try this out. Grab your monthly budget, grab a group of cells, home, conditional formatting, Maybe do something greater than or less than. You know, play around with it. Get an idea of working with conditional formatting. Try it out.